Hi, a warm welcome to you. In the last video, we have seen A A A similarity criteria. In this video, we will see S S S similarity criteria, which means that if the sides are in proportion, then the automatically the corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. So, given to us that there are two triangles, suppose let us say A B C comma D E F given to us that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF. Now, what we have to prove? We have to prove that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. To do that, since we have been given AB by DE, BC by EF, so we want to leverage the basic proportionality theorem so that we, we want to represent this triangle there, then I can go for the converse of the uh, res, um, proportionality theorem where I say that if two sides are in same ratio, then I can go back and say that these lines are parallel to each other. Once they are parallel, then I should be able to prove these two are congruent. By that I can say that all the angle A equal to angle D, angle B equal to angle E and angle C equal to angle F. Let me repeat that again. We have been given that there is a ratio, right? AB by DE equal to BC by EF equal to AC by DF. Now our input is only basic proportionality theorem. To work with basic proportionality theorem or converse of that, I should know either the ratio or I should know that the, ang uh, the uh, know that the lines are parallel to each other. Now, let us try to construct this triangle in this particular triangle so that we will see that these two triangles are similar to each other. Then we can use converse of basic proportionality theorem and we can say that these two lines are parallel to each other. So, let us go ahead and do that. So, what I will do, I will take A B length on D and I will A B equal to D P, I will find out the point P, then similarly I will find out the point Q, I will name them as P and Q and I will try to join them. just coloring so that we see that now what we have done. What we have done is we have constructed DP is equal to AB and DQ is equal to AC. That is a construction part. What we have done Okay. Now, let us go ahead and see this. Now, since we have, since we know this ratio that AB by DE equal to AC by DF, let me go ahead and say AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. We know that AB is equal to DP, so I can say DP by DE is equal to AC equal to DQ, I can say DQ divided by DF. We have seen already that this I can manipulate, reversing it minus it by 1 and reverse it back. I can say DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF. And now you can see that we can apply the basic proportionality theorem on these two triangles because DP by P key equal to DQ by QF. That means a line is dividing two, a line is dividing these two lines in the same ratio at that particular point. That means PQ is dividing DPE in the ratio of DP by PE and Q at Q in the ratio DQ by QF and both of them are equal. That means the meaning of that is that these two lines should be 
parallel to each other that means PQ is parallel to EF if PQ is parallel to EF if PQ is parallel to EF I know that angle P is equal to angle E comma angle Q is equal to angle F that means we know that these angles are equal so and also just we have learned about a a a similarity where we have learned that not only a a a even if two angles are similar then we can straight away go ahead and say that these two triangles are similar to each other which two triangles are similar to each other triangle dpq is similar to triangle d e f how we know that we know that because angle p is equal to angle e angle q equal to angle f and d is equal to d both of them that means dpq and def are similar to each other we know that when they are similar we know that dp by de is equal to dq by df that is nothing but equal to pq by ef and we know here dp is nothing but equal to ab by de and dq is nothing but equal to ac by df and that is nothing but equal to pq by ef but this is nothing but equal to bc by ef this is nothing but equal to bc by ef if i compare ab by de if i compare ab by de equal to bc by ef equal to pq by ef so i can go ahead and write this is equal to bc by ef this tells me that pq is equal to bc if pq equal to bc now you can see that ab equal to dp ac equal to dq bc equal to pq that means these two triangles are these two triangles are triangle abc and triangle dpq are congruent with each other we know that in congruent triangles the angles are equal the angles are equal that means angle a is equal to angle D angle B is equal to angle P and angle C is equal to angle Q but we know that angle P is equal to angle E so I can say directly angle E similarly angle Q equal to angle F so I can say angle C equal to angle F that is the proof what we need to do angle A equal to angle D angle B equal to angle E and angle C equal to angle F let's go ahead and summarize this we have to prove that if the sides are in proportion the angles are automatically equal so the two triangles are similar to do that what we have done our approach was since we have been given a ratio that a b given that the sides are in proportion we try to construct the same triangle here by taking a b equal to d p and a c equal to d q then afterwards we know that a b by d e is equal to a c by d f and we have constructed d p equal to a b and d q equal to a c we can go ahead and say d p by d e d p by d e equal to d q by d f which i can manipulate as d p by p e equal to d q by p 
QF. This is nothing but converse of basic proportionality theorem which tells me that PQ is parallel to EF. If PQ is parallel to EF, then angle P and angle Q ang and angle Q and angle F are equal. If these two angles are equal, then automatically DPQ and DEF are similar to each other. When we know that these two, these DPQ and DEF are similar to each other, we can, their sides should be in proportion. That means DP by DE equal to DQ by DF equal to PQ by EF. But we know DP equal to AB and DQ equal to AC. If I compare that with whatever the information is given to me, I found out that PQ is nothing but equal to BC. If I substitute PQ equal to BC, I found that triangle ABC and triangle DPQ are similar to, uh, congruent to each other. When they are congruent to each other, then all the angles should be equal. That means, that means angle A should be equal to angle D, angle B should be equal to angle P, and the angle C should be equal to angle Q. That's how we have proven that if the sides are in proportion, the corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. See you in the next video where we will see another similarity criteria that is side angle side similarity that is SAS. See you in the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.